I want to share with you some stories, you guys. This one of them is from the LA Times. New York Times also had sort of a puff piece back in 2019 talking about what Joe was doing there in Ukraine. But this one comes from the LA Times. And you can see this is October of 2019. New York Times followed. They had another one in November. And they're talking about here is what Joe Biden actually did in Ukraine. And they're talking about how he was there to clean up corruption, et cetera. But then there's this little paragraph. And this is important. I want to show you this because take a peek. It says, it's like the it's like the media is like totally trying to cover up for the guy. Few here doubt that Hunter Biden was offered a lucrative position on the board of Burisma Holdings, a natural gas company controlled by a controversial businessman because of his father's prominence. It goes on, the writer writes to say, it's common in Eastern Europe and much of the world to hire a celebrity or relative of a senior official to burnish a company's image and to help shield it from official or official unofficial shakedowns. So they're saying like they totally, they totally hired him for a reason. So there you go. That's something in and of itself. I think we need to be asking a whole lot more in the way of questions. But of course, when you do, well, you get shot down, including by the president of the United States, as Peter Ducey just found out this past week. Here's the Fox reporter asking the president about those 20 phone calls he was calling in during dinner meetings to talk to his son and his son's clients. Watch. There's this testimony now where one of your son's former business associates is claiming that you were on speakerphone a lot with them talking business. Is that what? I've never talked business in anybody. And I, I know you'd have a lousy question. Well, what do you, it's, why is that a lousy question? Because it's not true. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, and apparently White House was really not happy because Peter says that he got calls before he'd even gotten totally back to his car. So you can't ask about this stuff. This is what is so problematic. And I think it leaves so many Americans saying, but wait a second, what? Like, what? It's a lot of money. And it's a lot of money going to a guy, a kid, not a kid, who had no experience in the field and had a history of drug addiction, et cetera. What a mess. Okay. Hey, everyone. Trish Regan here. If you enjoyed that clip, please do me the favor of subscribing to the channel. Just hit that little subscribe button right over there. Did I do that right? Uh, not quite, but you know where it is. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so that you get the alerts. And I'll see you back on the show.